I'm a weirdo I'm a god of war, you a guitar hero So let's box like Tyson, you'll get punched out What's up guys, Shad Juice here, just wanna make this little clip um, This is gonna wrap up the yard sale season for 2018 um, I'm I think I got two different pickups. I never posted yet. Uh, some damn good stuff. A great Super Nintendo lot, real cheap, with some 64 stuff in it. Uh, please check it out. Uh, 2018 was a decent season, so hopefully next year will be better. It sucks the winters here, but it, when you live in Ohio, yard sales are over this time of year. So see you next spring for the yard sales. Check them out. What's up guys, Shad Juice here, just getting back from doing some yard sailing and uh, went through a little flea market. Uh, I ended up buying a lot of toys today, which I usually don't get a lot of and not sure how I did today, but let's check out what we got. First up, I went through a sale, I listed a bunch of like action figures and seemed like stuff from the 90s, so I hit that first and they had this whole box of He-Man stuff. Yeah, He-Man stuff. All these vehicles here. Vehicles. I don't know. I remember what all all this stuff's called at all. It's been so long since I watched He Man. Yeah, it's been so long. That's just a part to something. Yeah, the part. Something. This like vehicle. This guy here. Yeah, I wanted the horse. Three of him. This one's pretty cool. The double headed one. Yeah, double head. I wanted that. I'm just going to show you guys what all they were. I mean, the only one that really knows He-Man, to be honest with you, I don't remember this stuff too much. Yeah, yeah I paid uh, $32 for this lot. Hopefully I did good. I'm probably just going to flip them because I, don't, I, don't, I ain't collecting He-Man right now, so... Pretty good lot for 30 bucks, I think. Pretty sure the guy knew what all he had, but. Let me clear this out and show you what else I got. All right, let's show you some more stuff I got at the yard sale. I got this uh, Batman figure with these big white wings on it. Let me I think see. it's got his weapons in there. Can I see this? This seemed really cool to me. I've never seen it. I don't know if it's worth anything or not. But can I see? Picked it up for two bucks. Can I see? Not right now, honey. Picked up this, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Biker Mice from Mars guy. I think it's Biff, maybe. I just don't know. This old uh, Lesney Matchbox to. car. I don't know why I want to. Oh. Same sale. Picked up this Beast Wars uh, Evil Predacon Transkeeto. It's not new or nothing, but it's in the box. I think I paid five for that. I show all I got at the yard sale because I did get some stuff at the flea market. Oh, we'll mix it in. These were from the flea market. I couldn't pass these up. I had a couple of these when I was a kid. We got uh, these Terminator 2 3D figures. We got the Exploding T100. Hot Blast Terminator. Techno Punch Terminator. Power Arm Terminator. So I think I had that one. Batty Ready, Terminator, and John Connor with the bike, which I had. I know I had the bike one. I had this one. And Power Arm, I'm pretty sure. I paid 15 bucks for the whole set. Probably just going to keep them. Because I think they're cool. The whole set, you're going to keep them? Can I just have the Cycle, baby. Also at the flea market, I picked up this T83, no case, no battery cover for a dollar. I just took a chance on it for a dollar. Got this Mo Thugs Family Scripture CD, a little hard to find. Car. It's a decent CD. Can I have this car, Daddy? No, buddy. Does it have a? Uh, oh, this is from that. Uh, it's, it's a deal. I'll show you all the stuff I got for the deal. Also, the flea market, I got this Joey Votto authenticated game use jersey piece. Jersey piece? What's that? Got the authentication stuff down there. I, I couldn't find no comps on it. I don't know if it's worth anything or not. I paid five bucks on it. If anything, I'll just keep it. Bought this little uh, Halo book set. I've seen it sells for uh, 
at least 10 bucks. So, picked that up. Picked up this Pokemon Pokedex book. I got both of those for two bucks. Another yard sale. This is only in really games I got today. Got some Xbox game originals. Star Wars Battlefront. Crazy Taxi 3. Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Revenge of the Sith. And another Knights of the Old Republic. All the discs are pretty clean. Dollar a piece on those. Not bad at all. I'm trying to think what else I got. This will show you what uh, Picked up some stuff for the boy there. He's taking my He-Man stuff. What do you got there? I just want... Motorcycle. I just want him. Guy from Marvel. I just want the guy from Marvel. Yeah, I miss Pokemon. Vaporeon. Where's my horse seat? Oh, there we go. Okay. And the last deal I got was this box of Marilyn Monroe Barbies. Yeah, we'll It's the whole run. set of six. Yeah, the whole thing is six. Alright, buddy. Stop grabbing. Yeah, I got it. Here, why don't you hold it? Then we can show everybody. Hold it down. There's one there. I'm going to hold him. Alright, pick it up. He's creepy. You can be the model. Okay. Yeah. Showing all these cool Barbies we got. Mm, I can't hold it much longer. They're all Marilyn Monroe. Is it Marilyn Here, hold it. Okay. Just do your job here. What's that number three? I gonna put it in the grass. Cause... Nah, it might be wet. I'm gonna put it in the grass. Yeah, right there. They're a little dirty, but they'll clean up. Yeah, I might be in the grass. Uh, these are painting it out. Yeah, they're in the painted butt. Here, hold it. That one. I know you guys are really interested in seeing Barbies, but anyways. So whole set of six, just wipe them off. I'm going to throw them on eBay for probably 200 I've seen a set of six go for 185 plus 60 shipping. Daddy. So I paid 40 Look. for those. Okay, I got it. Put it back in the box. And this, there's one last one. Okay. It's one more. Show the people. That's cool. So I got those for 40. This is the yard sale that I first went to. I came back, they put out more stuff. Not sure if all this is Godzilla or some's Ultraman. But we got this Godzilla figure. I know he's Godzilla. Him. Got that one. Yellow fans. <laughs> got those. Okay. And this old uh, G.I. Joe boat. A G.I. Joe boat? It's just parts, man, but it was cool. So I got them figures, the Barbies, and this boat for 50 So I don't think that's a bad deal. Hopefully the Barbies will pay for everything I got today. Well, Not sure what the He-Man's going to do, but we'll see, guys. That's what we got today at the yard sales. Peace. <laughs> What's up, guys? Shad Juice here. Just got done with the yard sale, and uh, I was having a great day, man. I scored some good stuff, and then guess what? Went to the ATM. <laughs> my ATM card ain't in my wallet. Well, apparently I left it in the machine yesterday when I got money out, and I didn't take it when I walked away, and then somebody else took 300 fucking dollars out of it. So, hey. Cool. Thanks, Steve. Anyways, card's canceled. I should get my money back. I'll show you what I got at the yard sales. Like I said, it was a pretty good day. I got a nice game bundle, and I haven't even seen all the games yet. So, let's get into it. Here's what we got. Uh, I got a bunch of stuff that ain't video games, and I'm going to show you that stuff. I mean, this is how you make money to sell video or buy video games. Or get stuff you like. But stay tuned. There's a good game pickup in here. Got these CDs for a quarter piece. We got the Beach Boys hits. P. Diddy and the Family. Michael Jackson Bad. Bob Seger Night Moves. Those are a quarter a piece. This stuff right here was a good deal. I got all this for eight bucks. 
this little uh, iPod. I don't know what this one's called. It's a shuffle, maybe. Shirts worth something. Got the cords. Got a KitchenAid uh, slicer and shredder stand mixer attachment. That's probably worth some money, but I haven't looked. It, I haven't even looked it up yet. This I looked up, and I've seen sold for eighty to ninety bucks. It's a uh, BioLite camp stove. You can uh, it takes a USB. Pretty damn cool. He said it's never been used, so now I'll say this is a BioLite uh, kettle pot. Didn't look this one up. I'm sure it's worth more than what I paid for this stuff. Like I said, that little lot there was eight bucks, so definitely a good buy. I also picked this up at the same sale. It's a Thomas Kincaid hand painted sculpture with light and clock. It's a little lighthouse and a house with a clock. I paid two dollars for that. I definitely know I'm gonna get some money off of that. It's the same sale, I picked all these up. These were a quarter piece. I don't know if this is worth anything. Jack Benny collection. It's got uh, 20 CDs in it. So, I don't know. Also, we got uh, Planet Earth, the complete series. Like I said, these are all quarter piece. Edward Scissorhands, Anniversary Edition, sealed. Hunger Games, Catching Fire on Blu-ray. Born Supremacy on Blu-ray, sealed. Born Ultimatum, Blu-ray. Born Identity, that's still brand new. And uh, Johnny's Animal Hijinks, Volume 1. Johnny Carson, Collection, Volume 1 to 3. Them are a quarter piece, man. Like that, that was a damn good sale. I spent like 12 bucks and got... All that stuff. Okay, we'll show you. I got this Joe Nuxall uh, brown statue. Not sure if that's worth anything, but I paid a buck. Got same sale. I got a uh, Modern Warfare 2. Had a few other games, but they were scratched up. That one wasn't too bad. Um, this was like a little church sale. Picked up these inks for 10 bucks. They go for about 20 a piece, so $30 profit there. Brand new, still good date to let next year. Picked up this uh, Army Reserve bag. Looks like it's never been used. Hey, there's something in here. There's something in there. <laughs> L'Oreal Viva Pro. Awesome. I've been looking for that my whole life. Shit, I wonder if there's anything else in there. I don't think so, but a little surprise there. And I picked up this little RCA CD player there for a dollar. So that was it for that sale. Don't be paying attention to that Super Nintendo box. You don't even see that yet. It's a mystery box in there, too. I don't even know what all is in there. All right, this one sale. I've been there before. It's an estate sale, and uh, I found some good stuff real cheap. Guys are really good on prices. So I'll show you what I got for 30 bucks at first. I got the Sony CyberShot camera. It's got the paperwork, the disc, a couple batteries. Not sure if it works. Got to charge it up and see. But he only wanted like two for that, but he ended up bundling the whole price. So I'll show you what else I got it to the same deal. Got these Nerf uh, Vision Gear dark glasses or something. Brand new. I think I might get 10 bucks for that. Got this old Texas Instrument uh, word game, Mr. Challenger in the box. Stuff like this sells good, man. It might be $10, $15. I have. Not much or nothing into it. Got this uh, old Shakespeare fishing reel. I said this 
This is all uh, 30 bucks I paid. The camera, the reel, that. My boy got a few cars, got a monster truck. We got another Kodak camera in here. Or uh, I think it's a Canon. It was just starting in a deal. It's a, a Laura 50. Might be about 30 bucks, I see, if it works. I haven't tested it yet. I don't even know if there's... Well, there's a battery and a charger, so I can at least try to charge it. Sorry if things are getting a little sloppy here, guys. Just a couple cars. All that... I ain't done yet. In this case here is where the money's at. He wanted $30 for this, but he gave me it all for 30. It was his idea. I didn't even negotiate. So this old camera case. That's this huge lens in there. It's like a 400 millimeter lens. Might be about 30 bucks or so. Got this Mamaya Sector, Sector uh, camera. Don't know if it works, but it's worth a decent amount. And I'm not sure if this lens is on there or not. This is a uh, 55 millimeter lens. I looked this, just this lens up and went for 60 bucks, so. Not sure if this is worth anything, a Vivitar. I thought I've looked these up before and that brand ain't really too expensive or nothing. There's another lens in here. Like I said, I know, I'm not a big, I don't know a whole lot about cameras, but when I seen that lens is going for 60, I at least double my money. So, there's just a bunch of random stuff in there, guys. I'm not going to bore you with it, but that was a good deal, definitely. I mean, when you got a lens, it's worth 60 So, And I got all the other stuff. So. All right. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Now, I went to the sale before, right? And she told me she had video game stuff, but she couldn't get to it that day. She took my number, and nobody ever calls you back. But I asked her again before I was leaving about it, and she said, yeah, she had them, and she'd bring them out to the front porch. So uh, this is what all she brought out. I guess I don't even know what's all in that box. I know there's a system, and there's a few games in there. I don't know the games, really. But we got uh, Playmates on the Super. We got Pilot Wings. Donkey Kong Country, or 64. I'll tell you what I pay for this video game stuff when I'm done. Mario Golf. I'll tell you, it's pretty much paid for already. So. <laughs> Super Star Wars. Stanley Cup. Deadly Arts for the 64. There's a black Wii in here. Don't know if it has a game in it. I might show you guys. I might check. They usually do for some reason. Um, might be a few games in this bag too. Dance workout and Zumba fitness. Wii Sports Resort. That's a good one. Might be it. I don't understand any controllers. But the real, we want to see what's in the Super Nintendo box. And we ain't got no room. I'm going to hit pause and clear out some room for this. Alright, that's a little better. Like This box is heavy, man. There's some games in there. So, uh, there's a stack of manuals here. I'm not really going to look at these because I don't want to ruin what games could be in here so we'll look at the manuals last got a power plug one controller i'm just gonna grab stuff uh the great mystery circus mickey mouse game 
another controller, AV, another controller, pretty dirty, Star Fox, let's get the system out of here, system's yellowed, I ain't even look at it, that's got a crack in it, hopefully it still works, but yeah, there's a decent amount of games in there guys, I'm excited to see what's in here. Super Mario Kart. Nigel Manziel's World Championship Racing. You're, you're seeing, I'm seeing these for the first time, so are you guys. Adam's Family Values. Not sure if that's worth anything or not. Turtles in Time. It's a $40 game. Toy Story. Super Mario World. There's at least 10 more, I think. Baseball Simulator 1000. Kablooey. <laughs> Don't have that. Killer Instinct. Trying not to cheat. Super Mario All Stars. Mario is missing. Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Ah, I've seen a couple of these. Got uh, Super Play Action Football. Donkey Kong Country. Another Star Fox. Okay, I didn't see them. Pink Goes to Hollywood. Don't have that. Frogger. We got four more. Mortal Kombat 2. Come on, where's Earthbound at? Or Hagani. Aladdin. Don't have that on Super. Paperboy 2. And I think... Yeah, this is the last game here. What could it be? Soccer. And we got the box. It's beat up. Definitely some good titles in there. Nothing really super rare, but that's some good stuff. Let's see what manuals we got now. Soccer manual. Mario Duck Hunt. I wonder if she has that stuff still. Stanley Cup, Aladdin, Nigel Manziel, Star Fox, Mario World, another Star Fox, Super Mario Sunshine for GameCube, we haven't seen none of those, Frogger, Tetris, and the Circus Game. Yeah guys, definitely a good score. For all the game stuff, I paid 40 bucks for it. Uh, she wanted me to make an offer. I didn't. And she came out with 60 I looked at my wallet. I had like 43 bucks in it. So I asked if she took 40 and she did, which was pretty awesome. So for 40 bucks, that's a pretty good deal. Thank you guys for watching the video. I'm pretty sure that's all I got. Please uh, hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And... Sub if you want to see more videos like this. Peace out. What's up, guys? Shad Juice here. It's yard sale Saturday. Sorry, my damn camera's shaking all over the place. But uh, we're going to, I think, Lachlan. Lachlan in Ohio. Community sale. And uh, hopefully find some stuff. Said there's about 30 sales going on. It starts in nine o'clock it's about 8 30 now getting a little late start today but had to sleep in a little bit when we stay up till four o'clock so uh hopefully we find some good stuff stay tuned okay guys we'll see right down there there's like there's a few sales right down there 
But it's <clears throat> doing pretty good today, ain't doing bad. First sale I picked up, hunted the Demon's Forge, Fallout 4, uh, two Xbox One headsets. See, there's one, two, and black Xbox One controller. Paid ten bucks for that stuff. Sale right next door to that. I got some Wii stuff. We got one, two, three Wii remotes. We got a copy of Wii Sports. Copy of Mario Kart and another copy of Wii Sports. Paid six bucks for the Wii stuff. Pretty good deals. What's up, guys? Just leaving that community to say I didn't get a whole lot of footage. Um, you seen that little clip of the 3DS stuff? That was a good score, man. That was only ten bucks. And, uh, I'll show you that in a recap. Um, there was another sale. They said they had a bunch of. Uh, not a bunch, but they had some Nintendo 64 and some Wii stuff. They brought out like 364 games. They all three had the manual. I grabbed two of them. I love John Madden. Nah. You see the Wii pickup and the Xbox One stuff. So I found a little bit of stuff. I only spent like $25 total, I think, on the game stuff. So it ain't bad at all. It is now 11.20. Probably gonna go back to my neck of the hood. There was a couple sales by my house I wanted to go to, but when there's community sales, I'm hitting community sales. And uh, there's this one guy I always run into at this, and he's annoying. Like, you know, he doesn't do vid like play video games or collect them. And he's, that's all he looks for. Like, pretty much that's it. And uh, he came up when I was at that 3DS sale, and I. He's like, oh, did you take all the good stuff already? I said, yep. And have that Xbox 360 over there for 50. But yeah. If I find anything else on this little adventure, I'll let you know. But uh, it'll probably be a short recap. Might just splice this in with the next yard sale video. We'll see. Hey guys, just getting back from uh, yard sailing. Go do the little recap. Um, I'm probably going to just save the best one for last, even though it was my first stop. So, uh, let's go. Seen some of this stuff already in the clips, but here we go again. Stopped at a sale and they have Wii stuff for a dollar. I got Mario Kart. This is clean. Wii Sports. Complete. And we got the Wii Sports uh, Nintendo Selects. I think that one might be a little bit harder to come by. And we got three Wii remotes, buck a piece. So six dollars for that stuff. That was a pretty good deal to me. Let's see, and then the Xbox One stuff. I picked up Fallout 4, which I'm gonna keep. I didn't even make sure it was in there. Okay, it's in there. Yeah, Haunted Demons Forge. I don't think I have this game. Xbox One controller. I'm gonna try to trade that into GameStop if it's worth anything. Two headsets, which they're worth a little bit of money at GameStop. Same as a uh, get cash value, same as trade right now. So definitely gonna take advantage of that. Uh, there's a couple houses that went in and looked for games for me. One guy came out with three Sega sports games, which I just left, but he. Said he gave all his games to a relative or something. So, but uh, went to another house and they said they had a couple of 64 games and they brought these out. Brought out Hey You Pikachu with the manual and a little microphone and Pilot Wings with the manual. Paid a buck a piece on them. And we got Trauma Team Atlas title. I don't know if that goes for anything or not. It might. That was a dollar. So three bucks for that stuff. Pretty good deal. Our status lady says she has some game stuff, and this is all she came out with. This is dirty ass uh, NES Max controller. Paid fifty cents for it. Just need some cleanup. It'd be all right. 
picked up this little EA Sports thing. And the only reason I picked it up is because I, for some reason I want to get rid of that Pokemon 3 VHS. And that was a quarter, and this was 75 cents, so I made a buck. And the 360 games. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Modern Warfare 3. Tony Hawk's Proven Ground. Bioshock. Guitar Hero 2. Grand Theft Auto 4. Black Ops 2. This was actually an uncommon game, this Namco Museum Virtual Arcade. You can get around 15 bucks, which I'm going to keep it because I don't have it. Need for Speed Carbon. That gem of a fine air. I'll pay for everything I bought today. Tiger Woods 13. Modern Warfare 2. Halo 3. Fight Night Round 4. And Amp 3. And the best video game find today. Uh, that, this was actually listed as uh, like DS games and Stur 60 stuff. I got there about 20 minutes early. Um, all the stuff was set out when nobody in the driveway. I don't really like doing this, but I said screw it. I went out there, I was looking, and I picked up picked up these three games. And the Ten Dogs and Cats French Bulldog Edition. I got these because they trade them for like eight dollars cash right now at GameStop. Got new Super Mario Bros. And this other than Ten Dogs, which is about eight bucks too. And the guy seemed kind of frustrated I was there already. But as a I'm sorry, man. The guys look like you were set up. I didn't think it'd be a big deal. I said, you guys got the DS or whatever that goes with the games? And she said, yeah, but I don't have a charger. I said, well, I got a charger. And she went in and got it. And it was a new 3D, not the new one, but the 3DS XL in blue. It won't power on because I guess the battery's dead, but I'm sure it'll probably work. The hinge is good. A little scratched on the front, but I asked how... The games are five bucks, and I asked her how much for this, and she said ten bucks for everything. So, awesome deal right there. Can't beat that for ten bucks. And that's it for the video game stuff. I got a few other things, not a whole lot. This is fifty cents. We got Uno Spin. This little calculator, ten cents. She gave it to me both for fifty cents, but uh, I think I just saw that Uno Spin for fifteen bucks. And I got this, uh, what do you call that bow and arrow case? Yeah, bow case. Brand new for two bucks. I seen one that sold for 35. I'm going to be happy if I get 20 for it. I might do like 19.99 and with the shipping. So that's cool. I didn't really get any other oddball stuff. Got this racket I thought it might be worth some money, but it really ain't. I'm just going to keep it and use it myself, probably. And this bat was pretty cool. This wiffle ball bat. It's called a nitro power bat. Got these, like, springs, I guess, supposed to help you hit the ball further. So that's pretty cool. Got the got that for a buck, but... Yeah, guys, that's it. Uh, Not a bad day, for sure. I did pick up two games at the pawn shop. I'll show them, too. Why not? Picked up Monster Jam Path of Destruction on PS3. It's about 20 bucks. And Splatoon. It's about 20 bucks. Paid six bucks for both of them. So awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next yard sale adventure. Hey guys, just leaving that sale over there. They had a bunch of 360 games, dollar a piece. So I had to grab some. We got a uh, Namco Museum Virtual Arcade, which i have never seen this one. Definitely gonna add that to the collection. I got Amp 3. I just bought a lot of them, the good ones. They were all nice discs for a dollar. Fight Night Round 4, Halo 3, Modern Warfare 2, Tiger Woods PGA 13 includes the Masters. Uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, Hot Pursuit, Need for Speed, Need for Speed Carbon, 
Black Ops 2, Grand Theft Auto 4, Guitar Hero 2, Bioshock, Tony Hawk Proven Ground, and I still can't believe this was still sitting there when somebody else asked her about game stuff. NCAA Double Football 14. Chills is still chilling there. Mint disc. Pay 15 for all of them. Not a bad deal. She said she's got some Sega Nintendo stuff. She took my number. We'll see what comes of that. Usually nothing, but hopefully it'll work out. Hey guys, just leaving this sale over there and sitting right on the table. Shocked me. A Nintendo case with these games in it. Mario 3, Tecmo Bowl, Basketball, Baseball Stars, Gradius. It's like, is that two bucks a game? Two bucks a game? Nope, two bucks for the whole box. Yeah, two bucks for the whole box. Awesome deal. What's up, guys? Shad's used up in here. Probably one of the last yard sale weekends of the year. It's uh, Saturday, October 6th. And there's actually a local community sale not far from my house at all. So we're going to hit that up. It starts at 9. It's a little bit after 8. So I'm going to see if anybody's ready yet or put anything out. Try to get ahead of the game because that's what everybody does anyway. So hopefully I'll find some good stuff. Uh, I haven't really found like nothing that ex I mean, I found stuff and nothing really rare or anything out here before. But Hey guys, Shad Juice here, just getting back from uh, yard sales, little community sale. It was pretty good. I got some decent stuff. See, I got a cornhole set with the bags. Got that for free. All this stuff was free. Got some stuff my wife. Some ornaments, uh, stocking holders, brand new in the box. All free. And that globe was free. Uh, let's see, man. I got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Let's see where to start at. Picked up this Fisher Price uh, Play Airport. It's got the planes and everything in it. I'm pretty sure this can go decent money as long as it just needs cleaned up, of course. That same sale. Got the Zap Electronic game by Coleco. Pretty cool. Got those two. And this box of remotes. I didn't look any of the remotes up, but for five dollars for the whole box, I'm sure I can make some money on them on eBay. Some Pioneer and some Toshiba. So for that box of remotes and them two things was all ten bucks. So that's a pretty good deal. I should be able to make some money on that stuff eventually. Oh man, where do I begin here? Picked up this bobblehead for a dollar, Joe Nuxall. At another sale. Picked up Star Wars Starfighter Special Edition on the Xbox. Grand Theft Auto Double Pack on the Xbox. And I think at that one I picked up this Sukiyaki Western Django. I didn't know if it would be worth money, but... It's a steel book. I paid it three bucks for them three things. Um, let's see here. Like, you won't believe how many people I talked to do it today that have video games, but they wouldn't sell them. Like, it was crazy. Like, five or six houses at least said they had old Super Nintendo stuff. All right, this is one of the. Picked up this Friday the 13th. Ultimate Edition DVD collection. There's five DVDs in it. I paid, they wanted five, I asked for two and she took it. 
Another guy was selling DVDs for two bucks a piece, but I paid a dollar a piece. Let's see what we got. We got uh, Dawn of the Dead, Evil Dead 2. And he told me this was like part three, pretty much. It's kind of like a fake bootleg movie. We got uh, Bruce Campbell vs. Army of Darkness, a director's cut. I've only seen the first Evil Dead movie, so I didn't even know about this. We got those. We got uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Love that movie. And at the same sale, I got Bram Stricker's Dracula by Francis Ford Coppola, Collector's Edition. Um, another sale, this is 50 cents, Hills Have Eyes. Show all these now, I guess. Sale said uh, Blu rays were a dollar a piece, five for six, and the DVDs were a quarter. So, this all this stuff I got right here was 20 bucks total. Got Alice in Wonderland Blu ray, Snow White and the Seven Drawers, Resident Evil Revelations on a 3DS. Virtual Fighter, that was like a quarter. Metal Gear Solid 2. Wreck It Ralph. Terminator Salvation Director's Cut. Pretty cool. American Psycho Sealed. Dark Knight. Batman Begins. Sealed. Avengers on DVD. Iron Man on DVD. Hey, boom. Also, in that same deal for 20, we got Mario Tennis Open for the 3DS. Mario Kart 7. We got uh, Battlestar Galacta Season 2.5. Ghost in the Shell Special Edition. It was like an anime. I thought maybe it'd be worth some money. Martian Successor in the Disco. Ain't really worth nothing. Uh, I had something else. Also was uh, this Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex Volume 3. I don't know if that's worth anything or not. But yeah, that was a pretty good deal for 20 bucks. Picked up a copy of Mario Kart for $2.00. Um, let's see here. See On the last sales I went through, I got this Game Boy Color. Game Boy Color? What? And Pokemon Blue. Pokemon Blue? For $10. For $10? We also picked up this Big Mouth Billy Bass. If you didn't know, these actually go for good money now. These used to be everywhere. It was a big craze back in the day, but yeah. 30 something bucks now, I think. We have this little shop of horrors, VHS, the old like rental clamshell case where you squeeze the bottoms. 50 cents. Uh, this next sale, I'll show you what I originally bought for five dollars. Got this old Transformers uh, little van. Might be worth something, I'm not sure. Got a Baja Breaker Hot Wheel. This Torino Stock Car Redline. These two CDs, Silk the Shocker and the Doors. And it's my old Michelangelo's Troll Turtle, which I thought was awesome. That stuff I got five five bucks. And he tells me I had some beat up red lines. And he brings these out. Paid a dollar for this Dotson. I never he wanted five bucks a piece on him. I offered him twenty for the whole lot and he took it. We got uh, which one's this? Sand Drifter. A lot of these castings I don't even have, so I thought it was cool. We got Ice Tea. They had like a little roof thing on the back. 
It's a silhouette, I think. I don't know what that one's called. This one we got a strip teaser. One of the ones I thought was pretty cool. It's old emergency unit trucks. This one's actually in decent shape. Got a, yeah, a Prowler. That one's not in bad shape. This one's called Peeping Peeping Bomb or something. That one's missing an engine. It's a beatnik bandit. This one was really cool. Carabo, I think it's called. Yeah, the paddy wagon was just missing the little jail cell thing and the windshield. And we got this one. This one's the Mantis. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 red lines for 20 bucks. A little beat up. I think that's a great deal. So I'll definitely take that deal. Um, let's see what else. If I got anything else here, guys. That globe was free, like I said. Picked up this Carhartt bag to flip. It's 30, 40 bucks. I paid like four dollars, I think. That Cincinnati Monopoly game sealed. I paid a dollar for that. I think that's about it. Oh, yeah, this is really cool. We got this uh, Bugs Bunny picture. I'm not sure if that. I think that autograph's legit. It's Tom Browning, Mr. Perfect, and it says 66 out of 100. I couldn't find nothing online about it. I still gotta look it up some more. But I paid $3 for that. That's pretty cool. And it's old radio. It's pretty dirty. It's old Panasonic radio. Paid a dollar for it. I'll try to clean it up a little bit and get something out of it. I do see something else I didn't show. Oh, I got a few more things here. Got this PSP uh, two-pack. Sealed Hot Wheels and Pet Pet Adventures. It's one of 50 cents. She went to go get changed it or gave her a dollar. I said just keep the dollar. It's worth a dollar. Um, and this little bag of stuff here. Got a couple PlayStation games. Somebody had already looked through these. I don't know if they got anything good or not. We got Hardcore 4x4. Goofy's Funhouse, Airboat Racing, some manuals she was going to throw away. She didn't have the 64 stuff anymore. Madden, King Griffey. She was going to throw these cases away too, but I took them. Driver 2, Real Fishing 2. Yeah, it's got one disc in it. I would assume that's the only disc. No, it's not. So yeah, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up. Uh, I'd say a pretty successful day. Got uh, some different stuff. So uh, thanks for watching. Peace.